In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the spirograph effect within X lights. So here is the icon, and I'm going to drop it onto matrix here. Now, regarding the color, it tends to be a single color effect. However, if you want the colors to transition over time, you can use the color curve option. So if we go down, I'll try and explain what all these do, but it's uh, to a certain degree, this is one of those effects that to get something that you want, you know, it's a bit of a trial and error and, and see what you can achieve. But, but the first one is speed. I think that's quite obvious. So the effect now is much quicker, but we can slow down the effect. Now the radius of the outer circle, what is it talking about? The, the effect is trying to simulate those toys you had as a kid where you, if you wanted to draw pictures, you had a set number of discs that you sat inside each other and then with a pen you went around and you created some you know, fantastic patterns that you could pin on your wall. So this represents that outer circle area. You can see as we go smaller, we just get a single line. And this represents the inner circle. You can see you can get some quite nice effects. Now, when we move on to something like the distance, this is the offset that's used to calculate the spirograph movement. So you can see we can change the effect like that as well. This one is the growth or collapsing of the animation. So if we increase it, you can see it shoots right off into the distance. If we pull it right back into the zero territory, you can see the animation remains in frame. And the length, if you look at the length of this effect now, if we increase that, you can see we end up with, move this back a bit, to pull this into view. There you go, as I increase the length, you see the effect. Well, it's one of those things that you probably have to just pull this down a little bit. Yeah, you can see here that the length of the effect is much bigger now. And if I pull it back, see it gets smaller and smaller till so it's just a small item. And the width is a similar one. If I pull this back, you can see the width of the effect gets really small or thicker. So sorry, I can't give you definitive you know, explanations of what this will do because they're all interdependent on each other. So it's one that you should experiment with. So until next time, see you later.